So we're back with another amazing video, of course. And we're at one of our favourite restaurants. It's called yeah. Piccolino. It's a part of the club individual group. So they've got different restaurants like Bang. They've got one called Gino's or Kitchen or something. Where they've teamed up with another amazing Italian chef, Gino Di Campo. So um, I'm excited. This is my favourite place. We haven't been here for such a long time. We used to come here all the yeah. time. But we said we had to give it a bit yeah. of a break. And I now we're back. Possibly, <laughs> maybe nearly a year. Like, yeah, probably a about time. a year. Yeah. Yeah. That's how much we exhausted the menu. Yeah. We had to give it a year's break. <laughs> so we're just going to take you to the road. We hope you enjoy the food that we're going to eat. And we hope it encourages you to come here and try Italian. So. We'll see you in a bit guys. Before then, have a little toast and we're back to our favourite joint. Hey guys, so our starters have come. I've had the deep fried calamari. I'm going to show you this. If you don't know what calamari is, it's deep fried squid. What have you had? And I've got the gamberoni in parsley and chilli butter that with a wedge of lemon on ciabatta and that gamberoni is basically oh. prawns but these are so, so I can see the succulent yeah they the look juicy it. you can see the sauce on top yeah. and it just looks really really nice Mine's very tasty. Can't go wrong with this really. So it seems like our starters haven't failed us so far. No, positive. Yeah. Yeah, double positive. So guys, we've just finished our starters, just to give you a recap, I had the calamari deep fried of course. And I had the gamberoni prawns with parsley and chilli water. And mine was absolutely delicious. Mine too. I never failed to have a bad meal from here, but I haven't had calamari in a while, so I felt I should have it because I'm in a nice Italian restaurant, so why not? And it was tasty. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Mine was full of flavour. Prawns are beautiful, fresh, and juicy, as they've always been when I've come here. That's one thing I can always say when I've come here. And I've had the prawns from the start, and they've always been the juiciest prawns that you can yeah. get around. So, they don't disappoint. So, hopefully, the main course is the same, guys, and we'll see you when that comes. Alright, guys, so our mains have arrived. Yeah. I had the calzone, meatball calzone, I'm going to show massive. you. I don't know how you're going to finish all of that, I might have to help will. you. You're not going to eat all of that. Of course I will. And I have, well, I was in a bit of a dilemma of what yeah. to have and I decided to be boring, which is not it's usually me. It's not boring, me. it's just a comfort Stand. meal, isn't it? Got steak and chips. I've got steak and chips. So with a mushroom sauce. Gourmet. This is really hot. So before I lose my fingerprints, I'll put that back down. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna get stuck in, and we'll give you our verdicts. Oh yeah. I need to say ciao, And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to have. I usually go for the panna cotta, but yeah. I feel a bit chocolatey today. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a fan of chocolate. Today. Yeah. I, I, I do like a fond I'd like a chocolate fondant. Mm -hmm. So especially if it's gooey in the middle. That's what you yeah. look for. Mm. 
but I've not tried that passion fruit cheesecake. Oh, yeah. I love that cheesecake. It's like it just speaks to me. Like all the for me. No, it's um, gorgeous. I like it. Never used to be passion fruit because originally I think it used to be something like strawberry way back in the day. Um, but now it's passion fruit. I just love the cheesecake here. I've never been to a restaurant and had a better cheesecake. Like this place for me is king of cheesecake. Okay, enough about cheesecake. Because <laughs> she will talk to the end of time about I will. This cheesecake. I'm a bit undecided on what to have. To chocolate or not to chocolate? But then there's a few things that I've not tried on here that could sway you about. Because a chocolate fondant is a chocolate fondant yeah. at the end of the day. Well, guys, so. you'll just have to wait and see. Let's see what she decides. Will it be the chocolate? Or will it be. That's a question mark, by yeah. the way. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. You'll just have to wait and see, guys. So, guys, the verdict is out. And yeah. I have decided to go for the warm chocolate fondant with caramel ice cream for my dessert. Sounds nice, even though I don't like chocolate dessert, it still sounds delicious. And of course, I'm having the cheesecake, as you already know, because I've said it before. And the thing is, chocolate fondant as well, it's just that oozy moment yeah. once you're first broken into the dessert. Soft and gooey, that's what you want anyway. Yeah, Soft so. and gooey. So hopefully um, it's enjoyable for you, because I know this cheesecake is going to be good for me, but hopefully the chocolate fondant is gooey in the middle. Yeah. So, yeah, because that's the only thing about a chocolate fondant. It can I, it can easily go yeah. over and turn into a chocolate sponge. So yeah. let's hope they get the mix. Yeah. Right. Or it doesn't sink in. Yeah. Because that would be slightly disappointing. But I've got my fingers crossed. I've got my toes crossed. So I'm excited. Can't wait for this. You've got your toes crossed as well. Yeah. I'm doing it now. <laughs> My friend's a bit quirky, by the way. Let me just put that out in the stratosphere. So, guys, guys you should got a toes cross for my dessert. Yeah, then it goes well. Do I have well. none? I don't, I don't want any desserts anyway. Any anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a random because I wouldn't want any. And you, I've got a little bit of a cold, so she wouldn't want to be sharing anywhere. No, because I'm slightly. I don't want her allergies, even though tomorrow I'll probably wake up with them, being as we sat so close to each other. I know. My mum passed it on to me. And I'm trying to shake it off. So, guys, when our desserts arrive, we will show you the yeah. extravaganza of the amazing cheesecake. Woo. So, we'll see you in a few moments. Bye, guys. So, guys, my amazing cheesecake has come, and so has her chocolate fondant. I'm going to show you my cheesecake. Turn the, turn the girl around, give her a proper presentation. I hope I can hold it. I've got it, thank you. There we go. So, yeah, it's really, really nice. Can't wait to eat that. And here is my chocolate fondant caramel ice cream. And that looks amazing. So, you're going to cut into that? Oh, we're going to do it now. Go on. Okay. Let's see. It, it might it it might not ooze. So, scatter. Oh. oh. Oh, it's oozing. Can you oh, see the ooze? Yeah, little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shall I give it the taste test? Go on. <laughs> I don't know, but yes, it's very nice. Yay, ballistic! Have the taste! <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna eat these amazing desserts and we'll catch you on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now, go on.
once we've finished our desserts, mine was delicious of course, I've got a very empty plate. And that times two here yeah. as well. Um, that was actually really nice yeah. and a nice way to finish my meal as well. Yeah, I always enjoy the cheesecake here because it's completely different sort of a cheesecake. So it's not heavy, it's light and it's really, really nice. Like it does, it's, it's just light. It's so good. I love it. Cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecake. Yeah. Positive, positive, positive. So we really enjoyed that meal. So from the start to main in dessert, what would you critique? It's out of 10 for each of the courses that we have. Okay, well, my calamari is always good here, so I'd say that's a 7. Because it's always good here. Just 7? Yeah, because, you know, um, I've had other desserts, so, sorry, other starters from here, which I've loved, like when they've done the. Um, scallops in the shell before with that sauce do you remember that time that was gorgeous so i'd give it a seven on the starter rating you know it's not bad but i've had amazing stuff yeah as well so i'd give it a seven and then my calzone was so filling it was nice it, it was, was huge it was like a pasta dish inside like pizza dough it was it was nice it was really really filling so yeah i'd say give that a seven because again i've had like duck from here before which yeah. has been delicious but the cows are was really nice and filling i liked it yeah and my dessert is always my favorite it's like a 10 out of 10 for me i've had other desserts from here believe me but like the cheesecake is really delicious it's just light and it finishes my meals off really nice yeah. For me, um, my starter, I'll give that a definite eight and a half out of ten for my corn. Um, I did have a similar starter from another place in the city a few weeks ago, and I must say this one, this is, I don't think there's any comparison yeah. to the gambaroni that was served. Yeah. Any other restaurant that I've been to in the city. It's good, isn't it? So a strong eight and a half. That's good. For that. Really good. On my main, um, I did have a long time where I was dallying between what to have. I was wondering whether to have the the well, fritol misty basically, yeah. which was swordfish, salmon, langoustine or the duck and then I decided to have the stay which is a bit it was very nicely seasoned yeah. and well cooked as well just to my preference mm. but I should I feel like I should have just gone for one of the others just for something different, different yeah because you can have steak any day of the week that. but it's what you feel for when you come yeah eating out should be more about what you feel for in the enjoyment yeah. of the meal i do then. feel now that i've eaten it i do feel like oh i should have had the fish or the dog yeah. instead yeah so that's not to discredit the steak in any yeah. way i just feel like i should have been more adventurous in my choice today yeah. And for the dessert, lovely chocolate, not too rich, beautiful, gooey. Caramel yeah. ice cream was perfection as well. So and it that did was have a little bit of oozing. Yeah, yes, it, it was gooey in the start, yeah. in the centre. So and that's so. what we like to see. So, guys, overall, I'd say my whole day at Piccolino's or evening, should I say, is an eight. I had really good free courses and I enjoyed myself. What about you? And I'd give my seven and a half to eight as well i really yeah. enjoyed all my courses and the steak was yeah. beautifully seasoned so with the prawns and, so with the prawns some... and a really nice yeah. chocolate and we've had some finish. really nice prosecco so guys we hope you enjoyed this video and we're just going to keep sipping this prosecco and we'll see you on the next one and don't forget to stay